What is going on guys? Line it up near back with another video. Yes, I look different. I got a haircut. I don't look homeless anymore. Welcome to my channel. If you're brand new here, if you're a returning viewer, welcome back. Welcome to this upload. Yes, I'm here in Huffman Racing Shop. We've got some stuff we're doing today, but I wanted to address something with you guys that is a major, major step for short track racers all around. And that is some news that I've got to share with you. If you follow me on social media, you've already seen it, but I'm gonna dive into it in this video and explain to you guys why this is a major step for short track racing and late model stock racers all over our Southeastern region. So thank you guys for being here. Thanks for clicking on the upload. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get into it. As most of you who watch this channel know, this is my NASCAR late mile stock car. We race these cars in the southeastern region of the United States, predominantly North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. But my 2023 season was sponsored by High Rock Vodka, which is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s brand of vodka, which is also produced and distributed by Sugarlands Distilling Company. So this is the physical car, my actual late mile stock car. But coming very soon, to you guys will be a 124 scale die cast version of this car. Yes, you heard that right. NASCAR late model stock cars now have a die cast mold thanks to Lionel Racing. What's so cool about this is it's the first time a regional short track level car is actually getting a mass produced die cast in a correct mold with the correct tooling and it's actually gonna look like a late model stock car. Dale Earnhardt Jr. obviously is a huge reason why we have this or really the only reason why we have this as in he's been racing late mile stock cars over the last little bit the most popular of his cars being the sundrop car that he raced at north wilkesboro as well as his bass pro shops car that he raced at florence last year for those of you that are avid die cast collectors you may know that late model cars have been made in the past but on old tooling where they put them on the old nascar cup cars well now the Lionel tooling will look like these cars. They will be late model stock cars in a Chevrolet die cast mold. And it's going to be very, very cool to actually see these cars look like they are supposed to on your die cast shelf or on your office shelf or your desk or whatever it may be. What makes this so kick ass for us short track guys is not only are we getting to produce a race car of ours, mass produce a race car of ours for fans all over the nation really all over the world. Whoever wants to buy one, they have the ability to buy one. It's a collector's item, but it also provides an opportunity for short trackers or weekly Saturday night guys that are racing in local venues to provide external real value for their partners. So now not only are these local companies, or in my case, a corporate company, only getting exposure in the local areas, or maybe High Rock gets exposure from my YouTube channel and, and so forth, my social media, but now, these companies have a real opportunity to market their brand logos and insignia on a die cast car that's gonna be mass produced and all over people's shelves all over the country. I just had to uh, go pick up NGK spark plugs for our enforcer engine. I gotta change those out here momentarily, but Seth is on his way here because we have a Huffman Racing Radio podcast episode to record. So I've gotta get those spark plugs in. This car is almost ready to race this Saturday night at Hickory Motor Speedway. Uh, we'll be racing this car as well as our limited late model. 50 laps for the limited car, and we've got 75 laps in the late model stock, all on tap live on Flow Racing this Saturday night at Hickory Motor Speedway. Hello, Seth. Hello. We're getting a die cast car. We are getting a die cast car. I ordered two of them earlier. Did you ever think that Huffman Racing Late Mile Stock Program would have an actual Lionel die cast car? I did not think that. <laughs> it's pretty wild. Are you gonna make yours race versions? Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna beat it with a hammer? Uh, One can get a hammer. One I probably need to run through a bush hog. <laughs> Let the blades chew it up pretty good. By the way, if anybody wanted to know what the correct gap on a V-Power NGK spark plug needs to be for a Harrington Enforcer engine, it's 35, and that is not enough. So we gotta, we gotta mic them. Me and Seth are gonna go record this podcast real quick. I'll be right back. But if you're interested in listening to our podcast, it's Huffin' Racing Radio on Spotify, Apple Podcasts any podcast platform it's available on there just type in huffman racing radio i am the host landon huffman and that's what it's under so go check that out if you want we'll be right back and then we'll continue to work on this thing i don't disagree if if you have an investor 
I just don't see how you get part ownership in it if you're investing zero money. It's my idea. Well, ideas are like assholes. Everybody has them. But they're not always good, but mine's good. <laughs> nice and tight. Yep. Bleached. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me know if you would attend my bar, if I had a bar. I don't even know what I would name it. I think we have a lot of business ventures and ideas, just no money to actually do it. The one thing that holds us back is capital. Yeah, damn it. If we had capital, by God. But we probably could afford a couple kegs of bush light. Something to think about, you know, something to get the brain working. Those of you out there, you know, the wealthy I mean, ones. That's from wanna- we just finished up the podcast. You can check that out. Like I said, type in Huffman Racing Radio on all your podcast platforms and you can find it. But another big benefit for a short track or a grassroots guy to be able to offer a diecast like this, if you can have the platform large enough in order to sell the minimum order to quantity, which is 500, if you can reach that number, there's a royalty off of every diecast for you and your sponsors. So it's an opportunity to make some money. I think the uh, Lionel royalty is around 11%, which is pretty good per diecast. So that is what each driver makes or team makes, I guess, off of each diecast and it's typically split into thirds. So there's an opportunity to make some money there for these small teams or these short track grassroots guys as well. Hello, Gut. Hello. We got a diecast car. You seen that, yeah? I have looked at them. You think that's cool? I think it's cool. Did you ever think that you would see a late mile stock car have an actual diecast? Not in my lifetime. We got Deuce on the ground, getting ready to go back to scales with it. And then Dad and Gutter working on the carburetor on Gilbert. Because we had to send our 390 off, so now we got a two barrel on it. But uh, we're about to take this car and put it back here on scales. Because we're running a different carburetor on this car this week, we're gonna have to fire it up real quick since it's got the two barrel on it. Unfortunately, because the four barrel is getting worked on. Ready? Good. Y'all don't make fun of my headlight decals here because I got something special coming for you. You can look at that and tell me in the comments what manufacturer this nose will try to replicate from the 1992 season. Then uh, congratulations. You don't win anything, but congratulations. I've got more decals I got to add and I got to add the lower strip, but. I'm trying to replicate something to make it look kind of cool just because I don't have Chevy decals and they don't give me nothing no way. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I just got back up here to my apartment from the race shop, but I just wanted to talk a little bit about the fact that we're getting a die cast. Uh, I haven't done a race shop video in a while, so I included some of that in there, but really big things in the works for short track racing and uh, the short track racer in general. The average uh, short track guy, I think, has an opportunity here to Take advantage of this diecast deal and if you have a following that's big enough or you have a sponsor that's interested in doing something like this you know it could really work out in your favor so i'm excited for this hopefully the diecast come out great if you guys are interested in a high rock vodka 2023 diecast i'm gonna put the link down below in the description and i'm gonna pin it in the comments where you guys can pre-order it but thank you so much for all the support on this channel we are literally like 400 subs away from 25k so we've been skyrocketing slowly but surely it's all thanks to you guys so thank you again I'll catch you uh, in the next video. I appreciate all the support and everybody tuning in. Peace.